Hello, I'm Mike from wiseonlinelearning.com and today I'm using Excel 2007 to show you our magic graph paper tip on freezing panes. Nothing to do with cold windows. What I mean is to make sure that a row or column or number of rows or columns stay static on your sheet while the rest of the cells disappear underneath them as you scroll left or right or up and down through your sheet. So here we have row one a list of team numbers and then we've got a couple of columns here with dates if i click in a cell here and then scroll you'll see the whole of the sheet disappears after the left and you've lost now the dates or if we scroll down you've lost the team numbers at the top so it's good if you can make sure that those pieces of information stay static on your sheet while the rest of it scrolls. So what we need to do is go to the word view, the view ribbon, and in there is a button called freeze panes. If I click on that and then look at the second option down here, it says freeze top row. I click on there and you'll see a border line has appeared underneath my team row that's where the panes are frozen. So I scroll down the sheet now and you see team one, team two, etc. are always visible. If I wanted to change that, I can unfreeze panes first of all, which is the top selection here from the freeze panes button. And then I choose again the bottom option freeze first column. And you can see what this would do, which won't be much good for our sheet as it is really. Click on there. It just freezes the first column down here. You see this one has got a border now. So if I scroll to the right, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. will stay there, which is great, but you don't have the date there because in maybe a bad design style, this Excel sheet has got two columns with dates and days of the week in. So I need to be able to freeze both those columns. So I go back to freeze panes again, unfreeze panes. And then there's a rule you can use whereby if you select a cell in your sheet, and I'm going to choose this one, cell C2, then when you freeze the panes, anything above that cell or to the left of it will be frozen. Okay, so cell c2 selected choose freeze panes choose the top option here freeze panes which says about keeping rows and columns visible click on freeze panes here and you'll see now borders along the bottom of the teams and then a border to the right of the dates here and now if i scroll to the right hand side columns a and b are both frozen and the numbers disappear beneath and then if I scroll down, team one, two, three, etc., are still visible. So you can see where you are. And that's it. Yippee!